the Mac, iPhone, Apple Watch, iPod, Apple TV. For so many years, Apple has managed to impress and mesmerize us, the consumers, and give their competitors some sleepless nights with their impressive products. Now they plan to do it once again with the Apple Car. Welcome, dear viewers. Today we'll take a look at Apple's automobile effort for the future and see whether they have any chance at challenging industry giants. Before starting, remember to subscribe to our channel Future File to watch more videos about such futuristic tech. Apple's electric car project, codenamed Titan, has been in research since 2014, and it was one of the most perplexing news of the decade. In 2014, Apple CEO Tim Cook approved the project. Apple had appointed a substantial number of engineers to the project in a research capacity by the next year. In October 2015, CEO Tim Cook predicted a massive change in the automobile industry, hinting that he wanted Apple to play a large role in a paradigm shift towards automobile electrification. With an electric motor. Tesla CEO Elon Musk directly said that Apple will probably make a compelling electric car and that it is pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. Such statements indicate that Musk knew that Apple was pushing the pedal on the research and prototyping efforts behind a car design. In April 2017, reports surfaced that Apple was permitted to test self-driving cars in California. Indeed, Apple would go on to register 27 self-driving vehicle prototypes with the state of California's Department of Motor Vehicles. Testing was underway in secrecy, but we know that Apple's testing efforts were beginning to be fruitful. However, details are still very muddy to this day in 2021 because Apple had laid off more than 200 employees from their car design team for no clear and publicly announced reason. Apple is planning on a possible launch date of 2024 for the car, according to Reuters, but recent insider reports mention that Apple is still working on autonomous driving hardware and software. They are apparently not yet fully working on the car itself. As a result, many industry analysts and thinkers suggest that Apple still has a long road ahead to be paved with tens of millions of dollars in investments. They do not expect the car to come out of the market for sale before 2028. But let us look at what the car could possibly be. Truth is that we do not know what sort of design Apple will be going for. Apple has taken so long because of internal strife and lack of proper funding for the project throughout these years. Indeed, they have spent the mid to late 2010s attempting to greatly improve their main line of mobile phones, which were being accused of being simple copies of the phones before them. The car project has also changed several times over the years, and as mentioned before, employees were laid off. One can only hope that the current leadership of John Giandrea, Apple's chief of machine learning, holds the position permanently. Otherwise, the project will lack stability and a clear means of continuing to go forward and progress. They have, however, undertaken substantial work in the testing of their prototyped autonomous driving systems. Apple had decked out a few Lexus RX 450H SUVs to use them for autonomous systems testing in California after receiving their permits. Since 2017, though, the numbers of fleet cars had only been steadily rising. They are recently rapidly increasing the number of test bed RX 450H SUVs, indicating an uptick in actual work progress being advanced. Apple plans to make use of LIDAR technology to build their autonomous driving systems the most advanced on the market, even better than Tesla's autopilot. LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. This is a remote sensing method that measures distances using lasers active at all times. Theoretically, an Apple car would break or change lanes based on data acquired from the LiDAR sensors. Apple has been negotiating with certain suppliers of LiDAR sensors in an effort to obtain modules that are smaller, affordable, and easier to mass produce. Currently, LiDAR systems necessitate the installation of large cameras and laser beamers on the roof of their Lexus SUVs. It would seem that they are trying their best to reduce the size of these sensors to fit into the car's computer systems. There are currently several different teams working on building the software that would make the autonomous driving software work. A heads-up display, navigation software, and the base operating software are all being worked on by two teams made up of former employees from BlackBerry and Tesla. 
One of these teams also includes the engineer who designed Tesla's autopilot. While nothing concrete is known about what sort of design the car will take form yet, we could make some educated guesses in speculative theories. Many are expecting the car to follow the footsteps of the Tesla with their first-generation Tesla Roadster, a high-priced car whose success would make Apple a lot of revenue to go begin working on slowly reducing the price and scaling down for more regular people. A two-door electric sports coupe, done absolutely right by Apple, would also serve as indomitable proof that Apple is indeed capable of building a car to rival Tesla and allow it to stand on its own feet in the automobile industry. Branding is an issue that a sports coupe design would easily solve, as Apple is most associated with their common products, computers, and mobile phones. Apple needs to make a car whose success will shatter regular people's preconceived images of Apple as only an electronics manufacturer. For Apple's automobile ventures to be successful, they need market confidence in them as an automobile brand capable of producing good cars. However, given the fact that Apple is working very hard to produce a safe and precise state-of-the-art autonomous driving system for their upcoming car, it does not seem likely that the car will be a luxury sport coupe costing over $100,000. Such features belong organically on family sedans, SUVs, or hatchbacks, which are ideally designed with passenger safety in mind first and foremost. If Apple is able to make a battery on par with what Tesla will be able to make in the mid-2020s, or even one better, they can reliably go for a mass market design, a four-door family sedan like the Tesla Model 3, going for around $38,000, has great potential to be a smash hit, and it might even be able to sway you away from buying a Tesla. Customers will undoubtedly be attracted to the very advanced LiDAR autonomous driving and safety systems, and knowing Apple, they are sure to try their hardest in digitizing the car and making it as interactive as possible. Pulling all this off for a price tag under $40,000 will be a very incredible feat, but nothing implausible given Apple's endless reserves of resources and cash to draw from. We have to keep in mind that the future of automobile industry is still uncertain. It is hard to tell whether Apple is entering the car market with a clear vision to overturn it like Tesla had, or if Apple is merely intending to make a better electric vehicle in a market soon expected to be electric heavy. We know for a fact that research into synthetic gasoline and microwaves ignition that greatly reduces CO2 emissions is underway. It is imperative to question if Apple would prove themselves able to survive in such a market. The biggest advantage Apple has in their ambitions is to make cars in the vast amounts of capital at their disposal and their ability to gather lots of scientific and engineering talent at one place. What they lack most critically is experience. A phone company suddenly deciding to make cars is highly unusual and for the company, a very risky venture. Such a drastic step at diversification will require all the possible energy and focus the company can muster towards the efforts. Most information available about the car project seems to indicate that Apple has not even built a car body design. Despite that, a 2024 to 2028 timeframe for the reveal and release of the car to the public seems reasonable. This proposed time frame could still be jeopardized, however. If Apple dithers and delays as it had done from 2016 to 2018, in such a case, further delays can run the risk of total project failure. We will know more useful details about the car when Apple comes up with a car body design. Whatever design Apple decides to go with, what is fact is that Apple will have to set themselves to work towards quickly driving down the costs. Let us know what you think of Apple's efforts towards building an electric vehicle. Do you think it is worthwhile? And would you happily buy an Apple-produced car? Or do you think Apple has no future in the automobile industry and that it has nothing to challenge Tesla with? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, you may also enjoy our full playlist on inspiring future technologies that is shown in the end screen. And please subscribe to Futurefile to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech.